Hey everybody, it's Minister Conway and Brother Philip, and we're here with another Sunday service review. We haven't done one in a couple weeks because we've been traveling to uh, North Dallas and to San Antonio and other places to support our Church of Living God international churches. Uh, but today we were in town, so uh, Brother Philip, what did you learn today in church? Well, today the main focus on the sermon was talking about the ends, like preparing for whenever Jesus comes back. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows when, but we all know that it is coming closer. Nations are fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. There are definitely signs of the little uh, marks that you can get in those, like, those um, chips that you can get injected. So you already know whenever you can get that it's coming closer to whenever. I don't think he mm -hmm. talked about that today. He didn't. No, but, but I talk about it all the time. Exactly. That's <laughs> the probably, signs are there. Everything is lining that's up. That's probably where I'm getting most that's of probably, the stuff yeah. from. But what uh, he talked about today was being prepared for whenever the end mm -hmm. and what you can do to be ready. Instead of sitting there watching the paint dry, as he said, um, instead of just sitting there waiting for Jesus to come back to actually be doing things that like the things that he said for us to do until he returns. One of the things he talked about was living out love, showing the love that Jesus and that Jesus showed to us when uh -huh. he was on his time on earth, even though like he was a king who could have been the one like everybody expected to be like the um huge military might not not really compassionate, just destroying everything and taking everything. I don't think back. he talked about that either. Yes, but <laughs> But, but you're putting them together. I just want you to be clear so that they know. Because, you know, people, I'm, when we visit the various churches in town, it's always funny to be like, we loved your review of our service. And so I know people watch them in town, not just our people in Church of Living God. I'm so. putting things <laughs> together, okay? It's, it's a good thing. I'm putting things together. <laughs> I forgot where I was. You were talking about how they were expecting the Messiah to be this big military might. He was right. going to clean house. Right. Yeah. But it turned out to be... Um, very compassionate mm -hmm. and he loved and he showed his love he taught people he went around teaching people about how the savior would come and there would be a day when he would come back and destroy the devil well and what what one thing one thing that i really like that that they started off with is that we there's a lot of people who are going to claim to be a lot of things. And it really ties in with what Bishop Johnson was talking about this morning. As I was preparing, I like to watch um, preachers from our church. And this morning I was watching Bishop Johnson. And he was talking about how, you know, people establish idols. And, and we go from the affinity and the fan base to really taking it too far. And, there's gonna, and what they talked about in this church today um, it was how you... You're going to find that people are going to say, I'm the Messiah, I'm the Messiah, I'm the Messiah. You're going to have all these wars and things. And the Lord is already telling us all this stuff has got to happen. So we don't need to get ourselves all crazy and, and in a tizzy about it. We need to understand that these are the signs and the times. And, and I find that people who really, truly have a deep faith, when we see all of this happening, as much as our heart hurts for everything that happened in Ukraine and continues to happen in that area of the world, the other part of me says, Jesus is soon to come. And, and today we have been challenged to make sure that when he does return, that we are found standing mm -hmm. and that we are ready okay. and that we don't just have a, um, a facade of Christianity, but that there, we are really exhibiting God's love and that we're allowing his love to flow through us. That's such a beautiful concept. Yeah, we have you have to be any, prepped up. You have to be prepped up. All right. Any last words? Okay. Well, that's going to conclude our announcement for today. I want to encourage you to join me in Atlanta in two weeks for the Elect Ladies Conference. I'll be there for the Thursday night board meeting, and then we'll have a wonderful high time in the Lord. Y'all keep me in prayer because it'll be my first time being a part of this board as a jurisdictional, as a Southwest jurisdictional rep. And so um, if you are a Southwest jurisdictional elect lady watching this, and um, I think I have visited everybody except College Station, which is kind of close, so I have no excuse. Uh, but if you're a Southwest uh, jurisdictional elect lady and um, you would like to get with me of the calendar for next year, if you can't make it to the elect ladies this year, 
please, 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 let's get on the calendar. I made that announcement too long. I'm so sorry, everybody. But the, we have the Elect Ladies Conference, and then in June, we're rolling right into our General Assembly. The registrations for the Youth Convention and the Brotherhood Convention that precede Brotherhood. the General Assembly have already gone out. I have registered my family for both, and I look forward to seeing you there. All right, y'all take care and be blessed.